Late tonight, we saw the lone Marine assigned to stand outside the West Wing leave his station. That means Barack Obama has left the building for the last time as president. It was Theodore Roosevelt who first called it the White House back in 1901, a prize coveted by so many politicians and the billionaire businessman who gets to live there starting tomorrow. But to understand how Donald Trump finally reached that pinnacle, we have to go back to the beginning. The story of Donald John Trump starts in Queens, New York. Born in 1946, his early years were upper middle class. By the time he was four, his father, having made his fortune in real estate, moved the family to a mansion in a more affluent neighborhood. Even as a child, young Donald was known to be assertive, which sometimes got him into trouble. So at 13, he was enrolled into the New York Military Academy. His parents hoped the discipline would channel his energy. It did. He was a star athlete and a student leader. Trump graduated from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Finance in 1968 with a degree in economics and avoided the Vietnam War by securing education and medical deferments. After graduation, he followed his wealthy father into real estate development, eventually taking full control of the family business. And by the 80s, Trump was the toast of Manhattan. New York's a big town. Thanks to profitable high rises and money making casinos. But along the way, his companies filed for bankruptcy protection 11 times, and he staved off or settled a slew of lawsuits. In 2004, NBC's The Apprentice, with that familiar catchphrase, You're fired. You're fired. You're all fired. Turned him into a reality TV star. He's flirted with presidential politics for years. There's been a lot of talk about me running. But by 2015, he got serious. I am officially running for president of the United States. Through a crowded Republican field. Thank Who's winning? You. Trump. The nomination. Thank you. And a chaotic campaign. He pulled off a stunning victory on November 8th that defied all predictions, capping an improbable journey from Queens, New York, to the ultimate seat of power in the U.S. Capitol. 70-year-old Donald J. Trump will be sworn in as the 45th president of the United States.